Hello and welcome to SAP Learning Academy and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial today I will be discussing about what is table function and how to use in calculus in view. So in the content of this tutorial I will be talking about what is table function and where to use this and how to create a table function and also I will be explaining with a demo example like how to create this and at the end I will be talking and very importantly and how to use this in the calculation view. So I will make this video short and, and very useful for you so let me begin this. So first and it is important to know that what is table function and its use. Table function let me tell you that in SAP HANA after a service pack 11 SAP recommends not to use the scripted calculation view. Now this scripted calculation view will be deprecated and it is recommended to use the table function in this place. So we are going to discuss on that now. And this is the second point now and table function used, used for read only. Meaning that whatever a select statement only you can do. You cannot do DML or DDL. That should be done in the procedure. So there are a small difference between table function and procedures. So in table function you can actually read the data and that you can utilize in the calculation view projection. But on the other hand if I talk about the procedure so we will talk in other video. So yeah, procedure is used for any kinds of DML or DDL uh, functions and as I written here it is used in calculation view and actually you can add in the projection node and you can do uh, whatever the logic you want to build there. So this is about the definition and its use so now I will move into uh, next part like how to create table function in if you are new if you are not much aware about this so let me tell you that first you need to go to your HANA studio and there you need to open the window option and from their perspective that open perspective and then you need to go into this SAP HANA development box so once you go into this SAP HANA development box you will find your the package meaning that systems would be added there then you need to right click on the new and you need to find the option called other because here in these options the table function is not available so once you go into this option called other and you will find the option called table function just you need to click on this and click on next and you need to put the name of the table function or the table function you want to create then it will take you to the next screen like this and here in this slide and it is very important for everybody to understand each and everything of this table function so let me tell you that so once you click on this create button then it will take you to a empty screen where you need to write this logic and there are some things that I will be explaining here like first it will start with your name function and this name will be printed on your skin since you are actually clicking on this next and you will be giving the your function name so now what you have to give your input parameter and it is not mandatory to give it but yes if you want to utilize or use this input parameter in your in your code then you should use here and you should keep with a colon then type if it is a date type it should be date if it is a kind of integer you should put in it like that then a very important thing is that returns table and let me tell you that function always returns a table so you should write like returns table and it is mandatory then you have to provide the what are the fields your select statement is actually providing so you should put those fields name up here then you have to close the bracket and this is as usual as a part of SQL script because function is 
type of a SQL script just like procedure and here you have to and this will be automatically printed on your screen like language SQL script and SQL security invoker as begin now your main code starts and here very important thing to notice that you need to write return the word the keyword return meaning that your SQL statement right here in the below is actually returning the data to your upper table returns table so here you have to write down the uh, select statement as I said that function is used for read only mode so you are going to read from the table like the fields I have put it here then you can put uh, from table name and whatever the input parameter or whatever kinds of input parameter you use and you should put it here then select this uh, right the end so by this actually you can create and activate this uh, function so when it is activated then it will be saved in your schema and you can use it further so now I will take you to the next screen and here I will be discussing how to call and what to use in calculation view and it is very easy to call a table function and you can use this from clause then you can you can read the table function you have to write like select star from your table function so your table function uh, will be like your schema name dot table function and then input parameter if you use the input parameter in your table function then you should provide the input parameter otherwise you just provide the question mark then it will provide you the data required and it is in the logic here so whatever the your logic so it should come up here now in the below screenshot I have tried to show you how to use in the calculation view like when you are creating a calculation view you can add in the projection like this so you can just click on this plus button up here and you can take the table function name and you can add it and if you are using the input parameter in your table function then it is must that you should also define in your semantic then you have to also define your parameter or variable you can see in the right hand side screenshot that I am using you have to add the parameter those parameters you are using in these uh, these table function you should also define here so if you do that then whenever somebody and then if you uh, run the calculation view once you activate the calculation view and your calculation view is ready to use then once you write once you run the calculation view then this pop-up will come on the screen of the user for this input parameter then you should put the value whatever date value integer value company code value whatever input parameter you use so the screen will pop up on the screen and user can actually change it accordingly so that's all about this short tutorial I wanted to say and if you have any comment about this uh, table function how to use or if you have any things you want to know please write in the comment box I'll be happy to answer you and also remember to see this section this section is very vital about this how to create this function and uh, that's all about it thank you for watching my tutorial also look and see the other tutorials I've given the links in the below description thank you for watching have a nice day